Hi, I'm Peter Follinsby, and I'm back here at Lee Nielsen this time with a, a project that goes back to the beginnings of my woodworking career, uh, building a shaving horse. Shaving horse, draw bench, uh, bodger's bench, uh, has a lot of names. It's a, essentially a foot-operated vice for holding stock to shave it with a draw knife. Let me show you what I mean. I have a piece of white oak here that uh, could be a bench leg or a chair leg, and I slip it under this piece and press my feet forward there, and this cross piece comes down, it all pivots on that point and locks that tight, leaving my two hands free for a draw knife to shave that. So, you might want to know why do I need a shaving horse? What is it used for? What is it good for? Well, here is a couple of items. Here are a couple of items that I made back in the 1980s uh, with a shaving horse. This ladder back chair, it has, what, uh, 12, 16, 19 pieces of wood in it. Each one of them shaved at a shaving horse. The legs, the rungs, the slats, all split out of oak and worked with a draw knife at this bench. And uh, that chair has served me well since about 1987. Same year I made this basket. And this is made out of ash, and all that ash was split out of a log, trimmed at a shaving horse, and then pounded apart. And then the oak rims also shaved here and uh, all fitted together. So I used to spend a lot of time at one of these, and I have had a couple of them over the years. And this design is one that uh, a coworker of mine, Jenny Alexander, the chairmaker from Baltimore, Maryland, sort of came up with uh, a simplified version of the English style shaving horse. The English style shaving horse is characterized by these two uprights that come up beside the work surface. The alternative is a German style horse uh, in which the work surface is fixed, it's, it's stationary, and there's an arm and a head that come up through it, right in the center of it. And that's often called a dumb head shaving horse, and this is often called an English shaving horse or Bodger's shaving horse by people who talk about these things. So Alexander designed this simplified version of it after having built some complicated ones early in her career as a chairmaker. And uh, she and I were working many years ago uh, on chairs and our joinery work. And when I saw the new shaving horse um, that was being developed, I really liked it. Uh, except for a couple of things. What Alexander had here in this pivot, I've got this maple dowel that runs all the way through the uprights and the bench, and these arms swing on that dowel. Alexander had a piece of threaded rod and a washer and a nut. And likewise, a similar arrangement up here for that pivot, and we'll look in detail at that in a minute. So I didn't like the metal bits, and I wanted to substitute wooden bits. And that's really, it was my only contribution to this design. Otherwise, it's right out of Alexander's, uh, right out of Alexander's head. Uh, one of the things that I want to stress about shaving horses is that I think of them, they're a folk tool, like a folk song. And you will see hundreds of variations on them all kinds of different ways to make them from the ridiculous to the sublime. And some are strictly functional, some are fantastical, some are over-engineered. This one I like because I can wrap my head around what's going on in this bench. Uh, in the adjusting of it, that work surface hinges on this block and this pin up here. And then it's adjusted by setting just a, a chunk of hardwood underneath it. The notion being you want to get the maximum gripping power out of the least movement of your foot. I don't want this 
way down low and have to extend my leg way out like that because that would be uncomfortable for any length of time. So the notion is by sliding that block in further, this work surface comes up and a little push of my foot will make things tight. When I saw that simplicity, I was really attracted to it and said, that's the shaving horse for me. Uh, it's not too, uh, for me to judge other people's shaving horses and stuff. I just know I don't want to spend a tremendous amount of time and effort and energy into super engineering a shaving horse. For me, it isn't an everyday, all day tool anymore. I once was a chair maker, basket maker, and I would spend six or eight hours at a shaving horse sometimes. And uh, now in my work, it's more, uh, more of an incidental piece of equipment. I still use it regularly, but never as frequently as I once did. Uh, but regardless of that, frequency of work. Uh, this one I, I find hard to beat. Uh, let me show you a tiny bit about how that uh, work surface hinges on that head and then uh, we can get started on building it. Uh, before we go further though, I need to warn you uh, what fits me and suits me for a shaving horse might not fit and suit you. I'm about five feet nine inches tall with a pretty short inseam. So if you're six three, you want to build a different shaving horse than mine. It can be the exact same model, but a different scale. And all of this comes as a warning that as we go through this project, I don't have measurements. I don't have drawings. I don't have plans for you. I have an old shaving horse I've been using that this one is based on and you'll see uh, that one in use and this one in process. Uh, but you want to make it to fit your body. So you want to scale it to suit your work. If you've got long legs, you need a higher bench than I do, which means you need longer uprights and so on. So it truly is a folk tool in that sense in that uh, each one is individually crafted to suit the, the needs of the person uh, in question. Uh, they don't come as a kit and, and they, it isn't one size fits all. Um, let me show you that pin a little bit. Um, this little dowel is just a piece of white oak and it is just fitting in there on that block. So the work surface is hinged on that and here's that uh, firewood that's holding it all up. And then this is the head of a piece that's tenoned all the way through the bench and held below by a wedge. So we'll look at that and then uh, we'll start in on making the legs and then go from there, build the whole shaving horse. 